Welcome back to another episode, everybody. I've got some amazing news, and this is why I wanted to throw this video up. So on these Coyotes, uh, as you can see in here, my Gen 3 Illuminator Coyote, I had, on my Gen 2, I had a problem where at idle, at idle at 725, 750, and then after 5, 10 seconds of idling, it jumps up to like 875, 900. Gen 3 does the exact same thing. My tuner said, can't be changed. This is Ford factory stuff, cannot be fixed. Just can't do it. So I'm gonna read my notes because Patrick, uh, who was in the gray Daytona um, in the Silver State Classic, he's starting to dabble in tuning. He found out what it is and fixed it. This thing now idles at 725, rock solid, no issues. The idle never moves, it's perfect. Um, and I got another thing we'll get into the next video. But, so let me tell you what's going on here, what it is. So if you go into the into the tune uh, with HP tuners under idle and torque tab, and I'm sorry, I'm reading this because I can't remember all this. Under feedback, the minimum correction value needs to be set to minus 41. So basically what's going on is Ford set that to plus 41. If you change that to a minus, the whole idle situation goes away. and. Patrick thinks what happened is when Ford was taking the factory Mustang computer and programming this, somebody was probably just copying and pasting or retyping all these lines of code. And that negative became a positive. They forgot that one little negative in there. And because of that, it wouldn't run worth it. I mean, it would run good, but it just wouldn't idle worth the crap. It would have said it would, you come to a stop, it dropped down to 725, 750, then up to 900. You tap the gas again, it would drop right back down. And I know many people have had this same issue. So now you know how to fix it. Contact your tuner, tell them that that feedback setting under idle torque has gotta be negative. Somewhere in that negative 41 range. He put mine at negative 41, idles fabulous. I actually try to get the idle lowered a little more. Uh, the tuner's saying, nah, he doesn't recommend it. But Patrick will probably be the final say on it as uh, he seems to be better than my tuner, as you might say. Um, and then on my next video, I'm gonna discuss my major screw up when it comes to this engine and why I've always had this uh, startup roughness, 10, 15 seconds of just running like crap as the fuel trims are doing crazy and then it smooths out. Patrick fixed that too, uh, but that's my screw up. That's not the tuner screw up. This other one was kind of the tuner screw up. So I'm gonna throw this video up tonight and uh, for anybody who's got any questions, shoot a comment on there. I can go into more details, but as I said, it, it idle is totally fixed now and it's so much quieter because when the idle would ramp up the timing would retard the cams would change and it would get really loud and annoying now it's you know 725 rpms give or take 720 725 and it's nice and smooth and it's not obnoxiously loud she's got a nice little rumble to it um, night and day so as i said any questions comments let me know and uh, i'll give you information on how to fix it uh, your tuner will have to do it, but it can be done, and we know how to do it. So cheers to Patrick. He's the bomb. So thanks again, everybody. Hit subscribe, and uh, hopefully this helps everybody out there with maybe first-gen Coyotes too. I don't know. I know it's at least second and third because I had the same issue with both my Cobra and this. So that's two generations. So thanks again, and uh, hit subscribe. Talk to you later.